in my books, business agent is someone who has already made it, established in most cases a company, have uh, walk, walked a long path from the zero to the success, uh, has made a, an a, a exit, and after that he or she will share his wisdom, experiences, his, his history, and bit of his money in order to make the other people as well successful. I'm, I'm like the, all the other guys. I, I was an entrepreneur for a fairly long time. I sold my company to the London Stock Exchange with about 60 million euros. I got a bit of money myself and then I had a bit of money and uh, plenty of uh, free time. And I have always said that, that, that if you have uh, been successful, you have to share it. You have to help the other people. And m my way of doing business business angel business is that, that, that I'm a co-entrepreneur. I put a bit of my time, a bit of my effort, a bit of my money and we try to make it things greater and bigger and better together. Before I started making my investment I made extremely careful criteria. It has to be a SaaS business, i.e. that the software business. It has to be scalable. We have to be able to, uh, the company has to be able to do exports in, in big scale. And then I made my first investment, which was phone boots, like traditional phone boots. And uh, how on earth I ended up to the, this uh, situation, I investing to the phone boot company, was that somebody bridged me, somebody who I trust, who said, that, hey, could you come and help with us? Give a bit of your money and a bit of your time. And then it has worked fairly well. The company was about four years ago, one million, and now it's about 40 million in revenue. The startup culture is developing in the right uh, direction. And the reason for that is that, first of all, uh, the startups take more uh, uh, business angels with them, i.e. people with the knowledge, background, a bit of experiences which is a great thing. Secondly, startup companies have started to use uh, advisors more than in the past. I experienced business people who have lived, who have done it before, and who can actually uh, track you down when you are levitating up, and who can actually uh, pull you up when you are down. And I think that my focus on my work is mostly, it's, it's like a mental coaching, saying that, hey, this is nothing unusual, this happens to everyone, we can survive. I myself have a three tri uh, tri uh, criteria which I would uh, recommend for everyone. Never do it alone. Don't be the only sole investor. Take someone with you. First of all, you share the risk, but then you also share the workload. That's the first thing. Second one is being that, that uh, companies should have a, at least uh, 12 months of cash, uh, working capital for its operations. And third one is that companies should have sold someone something to someone. I don't believe investing a hefty sum of, sums of money to the companies which are pre-revenue. Um, haven't worked for me. It might work for someone else. But I would say that even 2,000 uh, uh, turnover is better than nothing. Of course, we have big deep pockets so come and drag some money from us. No, seriously speaking, I think it's more about the, the experience, about the knowledge, about the history. The, most of the business angels have done it already. You can learn so much from the people who have made all the mistakes which you are about to make. And if you can avoid even 1% of those mistakes which you're going to make, it's worth it. And don't say take just money, it takes all, all, all also the wisdom, knowledge, experiences and all the advices you might get you will get by taking a business angel on board. I think business angels will have a crucial role in the future as well. And I, uh, I think that it will be more, more co-investing than investing on your own. And in that case, for example, Fiban or its, it's Nordic uh, side, it actually tells that, that, that or it shows that do it together with someone else. Don't be the only one who does it. And I, I think it's an international trend. You actually find people 
uh, you hook up, you collect a bit of money, then you invest. Instead of that, you take all of your money and put everything to the red in a roulette. It normally doesn't work out. I think that you have to do the mathematical part. You have to take a look if the market is large enough. It doesn't make any sense to uh, invest the 1 million to the market, which is maybe 5 million in total. That's the first thing. You have to know a bit of the dynamics, how the markets work. Is the market big, big, big enough? Is, is there potential? But then when it comes to the te techniques, believe it or not, it's always intuition. Intuition tells you that if this is going to be a great investment or not, not that great investment, and then when you are doing the investment, never ever ignore the paperwork. And if you go to the Pearl Harbor, there is the USS Arizona, and a big great battleship. And they have this great slogan inside of the, uh, the ship. No work is done before paperwork is done. Always take care of the paperwork. I will be... Uh, launching my first book uh, in, 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 a, in a coming uh, month or so and I have invested quite a bit of time and effort for that so I, I think that those promotions hopefully a couple of good exits because good exits will meet new uh, opportunities for to invest